off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Friends, we are dressed and ready to go early this morning. Today is Memorial Day. And I'm not talking to you, babe. <laughs> we are getting ready to go here. Um, we are in charge of this picnic along with like one or two other people. Um, we are going to run a few errands this morning, including a bribe of pancakes from McDonald's for Ashley to come with us so we don't have to go back and forth from here to the park. My phone is charging because I've been awake all freaking morning. I couldn't sleep. But we are packing up the car. Let me go show you what we've got. Then Ashley is also going to the lake yeah, with her friends, lake. right? Yeah. Brush your hair, brush your teeth, please. Um, I've got your... I just woke up. I know you did. I've got your swimsuit and your towel and then if you have some leftover snacks in this bag. Is that enough? Yeah, that's fine. Right. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, here's the situation. <laughs> We're already pretty full. Um, we are going to have to take two cars. We've got tables to take. Um, borrowed a big cooler from someone. These are all the paper products um, that we have just from the church. Jason and I have camping chairs, a mat. We actually have a, a blanket in here too because it's actually kind of cold. Um, and then we got this stuff. The problem is everything in this little basket needs to go with us as well. <laughs> oh crap, who did that? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The buns are in here. Who freaking let that go? All right, let's start putting stuff in the car. Okay, got it all to fit. We are taking the wagon because it fit all the soda so well. So we put the soda, well, it's in the trunk. I don't have my phone on me, so the car won't open. I it will get your phone. No, it's fine, I need it to charge, but um, all the stuff is going to go in here, and you get to go in Dad's car. Because <laughs> I can only fit one person up there. Me? No, Chelsea can go up in my front Chelsea seat. Or both of you can go with Dad. But I can't take any other kids with me. All right, we are on our way. What is that so noise? Sadie, so Sadie said this. Okay, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Just let me finish this. Um, so we're on our way. Um, but we have to stop and get ice. And I'm praying that they have a few balloons so we can mark the parking lot um, where people need to park and come join us at the park. Um, I'm hoping we can just kill two birds with one stone here at the grocery store um, and get a bunch of bags of ice to fill our coolers. Bit of a snafu and the men didn't really learn to communicate and so there's a whole nother guy bringing 300 sodas. So we're gonna have a lot of drinks. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> But that's fine. All right, we are here at the park. We've got two tables, but we need like six more. <laughs> People are coming with them. We're just getting set up, but we've got our little trick here with our sodas. But well, your Coke is gonna explode. They're not gonna explode. You wanna see the trick? I know what trick you're doing. <laughs> like... Yep, we're gonna dump the ice in, and then we're gonna pull the boxes off. Do you don't? She doesn't believe me. I've seen this not happen, and I've seen have it explode. How would it explode? They like the coke and they like do it harshly and then it just like. Okay, well we won't do it harsh. Okay, well, Ready? It's already a curl. Oh. In each box, so I might need you to lift. Try this. Ready? Look oh. at that. Look at that. that. looks nice. That no. what? <laughs> I'm so, I want to see the Cokes though. I think the Cokes are going to explode. I was wrong. Coke. Ready? Yes. Uh, I don't know if I would say. No, we can lay more. Gentle, gentle. Go. Look at that. Wait, You're also that. perfect. Yes, so perfect. that's the idea. Yeah, so then. Alright, we're as set up as we can. We're missing about. I don't know, six or eight tables. <laughs> we'll put but we've got what we can set up so far. And then Kaylee and her friend are marking out the chalk contest squares. We're gonna number them so we don't know who has actually like done it. And then we'll put that on the clip. You didn't bring a clipboard, you just brought a piece of paper? No, I brought a clipboard. You did it? But no pen. 
I have the pen, but where is the clipboard? Is it over here? Car. Okay, you wanna go grab it real quick? The number two winner was number 10. Who's number 10? 10 right there. Who's number 10? Me. Is that you? Yeah. You number 30. <laughs> yes. Set. Go. Go. <laughs> you like that all over? All right, we are um, finishing up loading up our car. Um, got two more things to go in Jason's car. I knew I wouldn't be able to talk much um, while we were there. We got the cold car loaded back up. Um, excellent turnout. We had more people at this picnic than we've ever had before. Um, one, our congregation probably doubled in size recently because um, we kind of merged the um, boundaries. Um, but that was also one of the reasons why we wanted to have this party was to get everyone Look at that, my little chauffeur. Um, everyone together was to get to know each other in, in a more relaxed setting. So we'll finish loading up and I'll let you know where Ashley is right now because she's not with us anymore. All right, so Ashley's friend wanted to take her to the lake today if it got sunny, which it finally did. Um, and it was perfect timing because Ashley has been having so much fun. Like she had, she was in charge of all these games. She was in charge of the chalk contest. She was playing frisbee golf. She was playing with dogs. If she could get her hands on a dog, she had it on a leash. Oh, she was holding the whole a dog time. the whole time. The whole time. Um, and everyone was starting to leave and I could tell she was like, oh, what am I gonna do? And her friend arrived. They live right up the hill from here. And so um, her friend arrived and they were like, we wanna go to the beach, let's go. So she grabbed her swimsuit we, we planned ahead of time. And they took her off to the lake today and so while I still have three children at home they don't need to be entertained <laughs> and occupied and so I get to go home and help unload this with Jason and not have to do anything else the rest of the day and the mom was like well when do you want her back and I was like that's up to you my friend <laughs> you are entertaining my child just fell. that was just my strap banging against it don't you think sure? I saw something wrong uh, I hope it wasn't my chapstick. Let like me see. Oh, that is it's not mine. It is an earring. I just saw something roll over here. I don't think so. Tired. <laughs> Tired. I worked on the computer for a little while. Got some footage in. Had to restart that computer because it needed some software updates. And then I got freezing cold here in the house. And so I went and laid down on the couch and fell asleep with a blanket. Felt really nice. Although someone is home. There she is. Can you see her? There she is. How was the lake? You had a fun time? Yep, you got burnt. And you're gonna take a shower after you have that bite to eat. Is that a sandwich? Good. Um, can I get you a veggie pouch? Mmm, yes. Instead, she's gonna have watermelon. Can you be very careful with that? Someone else's bowl. I would love to have a bowl that size. Yeah. But someone else Except didn't claim it at the park, so we'll finish the watermelon, clean it out, and we'll take it to church on Sunday. Um, so you can tell it's been quite a while since <laughs> she went to the lake. Um, but Jason just encouraged me to go on a walk with him. Um, it's beautiful outside, and I'm freezing cold, and I know I'm going to sh take a shower tonight and like wash my hair. Maybe I won't wash my hair. I get my hair cut tomorrow. We'll see. But I'm gonna go and go for a walk, and we're gonna walk our neighborhood, and it's very hilly. So I told him if I, I don't, I haven't gotten my cardio up as good, and so I don't know for sure if I'm gonna make it the whole way. It's been years since I've been able to do our hills um, here in our neighborhood, and so I told him if I can't do the whole thing, he can come and get me. <laughs> I'll get as far as I can, and then he can run home and get the car, but I think I'll be able to do it. I think uh, I think I've got the stamina Wait. to do it. 
Well, we're already on a walk, and I already don't want to be with him. <laughs> Shut <laughs> Listen to your own music. We're going to do our own thing. I'm already tired. We're like right around the corner from our house. It's been a day. Yeah. And I don't like hills. I like flat roads. And I like going back and forth on them. But he likes to go up and up and up and up. Freak, we're not even like around the corner. Just go slow. We'll take it easy. We're in no rush. Whatever. All right, we're out walking in our old neighborhood. We lived here in this little apartment complex here for about five years. And without showing the address, you're in my way. So I don't have to show the address. This was our old place. It's really cute because it was a, it was like a two-story townhouse with a garage and um, nice garage. It was so nice. And uh, the pool. Here, maybe we should walk over there. We'll go show the pool. Okay. Um, and look, the house was right there, and I had all five babies or four babies. Oh my gosh, where did the fifth one come from? I had all four babies by the time we got to that house. And. Uh, Ashley was born. Like Ashley was born right before we moved, I should say, but we had, we still had that summer. Um, and literally, this is how long it took us to walk over to the pool. Our babies lived in this pool, and they loved it. We had such good summers, because he was at work six days a week. I was partially at work and then working at night. And so, having this pool this easy, we would load up a stroller, with all our beach supplies. Look at this pool. It was so nice. Oh, you remember that? It was so fun. It was so nice. It was so easy. And like, there's a shower on the other side, like an outdoor shower. I know I'd bring a shampoo, conditioner, kids shampoo, and I would wash their hair and wash their bodies while they still had their swimsuits on and we'd scrub their swimsuits and then they'd rinse off and I'd give them a clean towel and we'd walk home and I'd scurry them up to get their pajamas on, and uh, and I'd have um, either dinner prepped, or I would have him um, bring us dinner to the pool. A lot of time we would just bring sandwiches and fruit and stuff over to the pool when I was washing them all up. We'd eat and go home, and they would go to bed at seven o'clock. And it was beautiful, and we'd have a nice summer evening. Um, anyway, it was wonderful, don't you think? Yeah, it was good memories. Yeah, it was yeah, great. It was a great place to live. We had friends who lived here for a little bit after we left, so we would come back. But we don't know anyone who lives here anymore, which is very, very sad. One because they just got too expensive, which is why we moved. Because they're, it ended up being that our mortgage house. was cheaper on a full-size house than it was going to be with our rent increase had we not moved. It was insane, and so now they have gone up even more. <laughs> so. A lot of our friends can't even afford to live in the apartments. So anyway, I'm just at this point trying to just get my steps in. We're not going up and down hills anymore, which is nice. Um, he's not getting as much of a workout as. It's fine, I, I did an extra run yesterday. I did like a big one. All right. So today can just be a loosen up, get the blood flowing. All right, all right. I wasn't gonna run. Okay, I feel guilty going with him. But anyone has ever wondered why we don't go walking together is one. He doesn't like to walk as long as I do. And I don't like to run or go up hills like he does. And all I do is hills. Yeah, that's all he does. He does endurance for climbing and hiking. Mm -mm, not for me. So we do things separately. I've showered, cleaned up, had dinner, and um, closing up my computers here at my desk. I am tired. <laughs> I think I got sun today. I can't tell because I had a full face of makeup. So I would be surprised if I actually got sunburned. Because usually my makeup um, has pretty good SPF in it. But I am tired. And I want to go have my protein ice cream. I have been looking forward to it all day. So I really hope no one stole it. <laughs> usually they steal the strawberry and the pineapple one. So I'm holding you my water. This one down here. She got sunburned at the lake. Hang on. I made this the other night. Well, you can actually just, oh, you're gonna do it for, if you just did, um, you can make this for tonight, 
It will freeze. Oh, no, 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 no. You can make this one for tonight, for tomorrow night. Yeah. But just put some mango and some strawberries and some fresh stra like pineapples if you want. Yeah. And you can make a, what a, a sherbet out really? of that. Yeah, because these are, well, because these are frozen. Okay. So, yeah, you got some room too. I did. It helped to have makeup on today. <laughs> I'm gonna make mine, and we're gonna call it a night with you guys. It's been a long day. Um, tomorrow, I am going to get my hair cut. Got to oh, like. You're taking it off a few inches. Yep, I am. Okay. Um, so I gotta dry my hair tonight, and then straighten it in the morning. So I will be back with you tomorrow, and I will show you how much we're cutting off. But for right now, it's ninja time. Easy. Tiptoe